It's so black and blue, I won't join to you, magnetic, you're magnetic. What is going on everybody? It is me, Glory here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Total Victory Challenge. Now, one way is the legit way, and I'm also going to show you a small cheese to do this, because there's two different ways you can do this, and they're both pretty efficient. Now, the cheese might be patched while you're listening to this video, so I would check forms or whatever to see if that cheese is viable or not. But other than that, let's get into it. To complete the challenge, you must have five shield breaks on the boss and kill him in one phase. So to do this, uh, you're going to have to have five people have the blessing at once. Uh, and each time, you got to break the shield. One person has to break the shield. So to do this, you got to have one person switch with another person on the first wall. And then on the second wall, you can have everybody go in and... Uh, switch at the same time and it's all good so that's not really anything you have to worry about too much so to do this you really just have to have one person on one side to switch with the other person on the other and this blessed person is going to have to kill both ogres and that's probably the hardest part about this is you gotta one person has to kill both ogres and other than that that's basically how you do it, and you have to get five shield breaks, so make sure you're not too close if you have the blessing at the end. So, other than that, that's how you do the challenge. Now, the cheese for this challenge is to use Anarchy. Anarchy counts as a melee kill in the Destiny Damage database, I guess you could call it. Uh, it will just count as a melee kill, and for that, that means it can break shields just like the just like you punch them it's exactly the same works exactly the same way so you can use anarchy to break the shield five times so if you get one you just need one player to have anarchy nobody else uses anarchy everybody use legend of Acreus or whatever super high damage thing you got maybe you got some random smg i don't know i don't know what you got but whatever you got that works for you just do that get high damage numbers and you can kill the boss with it. So, what you got to do as uh, if you are the person with the anarchy is for the if you're if you spawn with the well in your area first, that means you have to grab that well, and you're going to be the first blessed person. Now, if you're in the second zone where you got to where somebody has to receive the buff or whatever the blessing. Do not grab the blessing. Do, do not be a pe person who receives it. You just want to uh, keep killing the ads and stuff. And then on the third phase, you become blessed again. It, and that just guarantees your blessing, basically. You're going to be blessed on the last area. Everybody else can go up and punch the boss for the first one. And that's going to actually need to happen is everybody's going to have to punch the boss on the first one. Except for the person with anarchy. And then the person with anarchy will just stand away, and it it works itself out. You kind of see it in the gameplay I have here, and that's the easiest way to do this challenge. And uh, it's what worked for our group. We just use the anarchy thing, but you can do it whatever way you want. You know, whatever makes you happy. If you want to do it uh, with a little cheese, you can. You know, and if you want to do it the legit way, I don't see any problem with it. I I could do it either way, but uh, you know. I was with LFG this time, so it was, you know, this was probably the best way for me to get it. Because I wasn't with my clan this time, so I just went with uh, me being in charge of the anarchy thing. And it worked out just great. You know, it took them a couple tries because, you know, LFG people like to die a lot. But other than that, we got it done. And that's probably the best way I found to have it be done. And other than that, you know... Let me know what you think in the comment section below, is what your sh team used, and what strategy is the best for you guys. And other than that, peace out.